we have a hole in the middle of our town that matches the hole in our heart with this town being in the situation that it is. I am so proud of our community and the way they have come together in order to support the people that have lost their businesses and lost their belongings. Last Tuesday, Boonville had a devastating fire that almost took a quarter of our town away. And at this point, we have lost five buildings and six businesses. I came, and it kept getting worse. And I walked two blocks over and opened the barbershop, so didn't thought maybe it was here instead of there. So we opened up and let firemen go in, go to the bathroom, got warm, whatever. But it, uh, it lasted a long time. Everybody came together to help. The fire department had their ladies were here with food and stuff for the firemen already. Before the uh, fire was even under control, we had people coming here uh, from about 11 o'clock at night coming down to find uh, a place to spend the night, to get some food and bedding and whatever, to just get through the, that first night. Uh, people sent uh, specific six by six boxes with special toys for the six and the seven and the eight year old. You know, uh, people have just been so warm and, and welcoming to anyone. We, we had our own personal little miracle that came out of this fire. Uh, a lady was very upset because her two cats were in the fire and didn't get out, or so she thought. <laughs> uh, a few days later, suddenly her cats appeared. They had been able to get themselves out, but uh, she also had a pet turtle, and she was very upset because her pet turtle was frozen in a block of ice uh, that she found in the fire uh, site. And she went with a shovel to go and bury her turtle, and as she's starting to do it, the turtle starts moving again. He was coming out of hibernation. He just froze slightly in the water that he was found in. To lose all of this and you know have this big gaping hole, and you know people, you know, I think are obviously concerned as to whether or not it's going to be rebuilt. But I, I think at this point, people would be happy just to see it not become a parking lot, you know. <laughs>